Welcome to another episode of Exploring Joliet. I'm Jessica Scrappo. Today I'm here with the entire Exploring Joliet crew for a special edition Zoom episode. Hi, thanks for watching our Exploring Joliet program. I'm Rick Lawrence, an associate professor of the Communication Media Arts Department at the University of St. Francis. Each episode of Exploring Joliet is produced by our students in the program. They enroll in a course called Video 2, and the learning outcomes are to enhance their video production skills, their writing and the reporting, while serving the Joliet community. So in this program, our final episode this semester, I'd like the students to introduce themselves. But before we do that, let me describe some of the things that they also learn to develop their competencies working with various pieces of equipment, which include multiple cameras, a video switcher, an audio council, a lighting council, a teleprompter. They also learn how to produce and direct and work with one another, not only in the field, but also in a studio setting. So let's have the students introduce themselves. I'm Jessica Scrappo. I'm a sophomore communication and media arts major. I'm Cosme Lozano. I am a junior communications major. I am Tayaji Billington. I am a junior communications major. I'm Jacob Bayuk. I am a senior communication major. I'm Dallas Malak, and I am a communications major, and I am a junior. Very good. Okay, well, I'd like to ask the staff some questions. So here we go. What are some of the things that you learned in each role that you fulfilled during this term? My main role during this term was being a reporter and anchor. So that meant that I had to write in new style and pick apart stories that would be interesting to the viewers. So that was a learning process, seeing which stories would be appropriate and which ones would be the best to put out to the public. And I learned to write in a, I'm usually more of an elaborative writer. Like I like to include long words and phrases and things like that. But with news, you have to be very pointed in what you say and you have to, it's a very clause action period. That's it. So that was a learning process. It was just kind of becoming a better writer overall. So last year I did do Exploring Julia. Some people may recognize me from doing sports back then, but my writing definitely wasn't up to par or what I'd like it to be. So this semester is definitely like kind of trying to figure out what works better for the news and kind of try to make it more, try to make it sound more professional by getting rid of less clauses and stuff like that and make it more direct and to the point, especially when reporting on something like sports. One of the things that I really learned the most was, was writing. Um, I really struggled with writing early on because I'm not a very good writer as far as being a reporter goes. But um, as far as actually exploring Joliet, the things that I did learn were just being able to improvise when the time was needed, when we were being recorded on interviewing other uh, people. And another thing that I also learned was just uh, looking around as far as observing as far as, as far as observing my body language when I am in front of the camera, I thought that was very important for viewers to see that when I am giving out the information that their attention is gathered. So for me, uh, directing, teleprompter, and camera was most of what I took care of this semester. Um, especially when it came to directing and camera work, the importance of understanding when things are level and developing an eye uh, for when things are off was very important. Developing my communication skills uh, among my peers was also very important for me because as a group, we have to understand if something's stressing somebody out or if changes need to be made, especially when it comes to coloring, lighting, and um, sometimes even with teleprompter, changing a script so it reads more fluently and stuff like that. I realized that the most important thing is a communication and organization. We all had different tasks and different roles in what the show we were producing. So it was important that we all did that on time and we all knew what each of us was accomplishing. So for me, I had to write my stories at a certain time and they were due at a certain time. And that then in turn helped like Dallas to make his graphics on time and to do what he was supposed to. So it was all just, it was kind of a domino effect with all of us that we made sure that we were each completing our own tasks. It's just kind of being accountable. I mean, when you're in like the business world, you have to be accountable for the work you're doing and it needs to be done at a certain time. So that was the case this semester with Exploring Juliet. We had to make sure that the work we were doing was done at a certain time so other team members could do their job and do it to the best of their ability. 
I think the best part was more so a collective group where uh, we actually uh, recorded or interviewed the art gallery. Um, I, I picked that moment as one of the best moments because uh, me, Jessica, Cosme, and uh, and Jacob, we all came to collective to pick each other's heads apart as far as like picking out what angles and what we wanted to uh, record. And as far as editing goes, I really enjoyed that because I uh, edited with Jacob and we actually got the chance to figure out where we wanted to take the audience to as far as viewing the art gallery. Working as part of a production group, uh, the biggest takeaway for me was that in a way the show must go on. Um, so that means that uh, especially this semester with some of the issues that we had with equipment um, and especially with, you know, personal stressors and stuff like that, when you have to work on such a tight deadline with people that have their own kind of situations going on, it becomes difficult to remove the self from the project. And so for me, um, I would say self-management and managing my expectations as well as learning to see things from another point of view and trying to work around a, uh, for a solution that way was my biggest takeaway from this uh, production group. What role did you enjoy the most? I really only had one role the entirety of my experience on Exploring Julia, and it was my first year doing it. And I really enjoyed being an anchor. I like to be in front of the camera and I liked um, reading stories and doing things like that. But I also did like going to interview other people. My favorite interview was at the courthouse with Richard Shainstead, and that was a really cool experience to go and see that firsthand, the new courthouse. And it's a little nerve wracking interviewing people and it, you kind of have to gear yourself up for it. But once it, it's happening, I really enjoyed doing that. And the preparation was a lot to do too, but I like doing that a lot. I would say the role I enjoyed the most this semester is probably doing my own role, uh, doing sports. I feel for me, it was just really satisfying and rewarding seeing the progress that was being made every single week when I would be doing my recordings. So at the first week, it was a little shaky at first, kind of coming back from, from the summer and also just COVID the semester before that. And then now at the last week of uh, Exploring Juliet, seeing where I've come and just how much better I can perform. And then other roles I enjoyed were kind of just directing because, you know, it's kind of like a point guard, how he has the ball in his hand and he has control of the whole offense. I feel I really like that directing because you have control of the whole show and you know, whatever you say, it goes. So it's a big responsibility, but I enjoy it. I really did enjoy also uh, directing as well. Um, I feel as if being a point guard, similar to like being a quarterback of a team, to, you know, be that, that, that leader in control. I did enjoy that. And I also really like being behind the scenes. So another thing that I also enjoyed doing was the editing, editing with Jacob for maybe four to five hours was long, but I enjoyed creating it. It felt like I was just creating a storyboard or just writing a story, but with through editing. The role that I enjoyed the most is actually uh, doing camera work. Um, I might be a little narcissistic with it, but I do think that I have some of the uh, best angles and close-ups and stuff like that, um, especially when it comes to some of the transition. So it's nice being able to uh, visually express, you know, my point of view or the way I see things. And uh, especially when other people tell me that, um, you know, a shot came out looking right or, you know, something transitioned really well and it was really easy to edit. I feel like I did my job well. And that's, you know, really good feeling. They would, they would send me um, their stories and I would take off, take their stories and make sure that the graphics match up with it. And uh, sometimes pretty cool is uh, me and the computer, uh, obviously staring at the screen for very long hours pretty much sucks, but you know, that's okay. What role did you not enjoy doing? A lot of the research and preparation sometimes got a little bit much, especially with all my other coursework. But the thing that it's just a part of the job, being an interviewer and being an anchor is a little bit the nerves and being on the spot all the time. That's an aspect of it I did not really like, but that's just part of what this kind of job is. That took a lot of takes. It took a lot of takes to get the job done, but it was fun at the end of the day. The role that I did not enjoy the most, um, the issue with teleprompter, as stated before, um, you kind of have to have a good sense of flow. And because people have such diverse reading speeds and speaking speeds, um, it becomes an issue if you have to redo a take and then sometimes exit out of the software, start, you know, get back to where you were, uh, get the scrolling speed down. Um, other than that, um, if you don't mind sitting there and scrolling on a screen, I think it'd be an excellent uh, position. One of the things I did not like, um, will have to be the TriCaster because I'm sitting there, press the button, watching everybody, 
Yeah, it certainly was since we weren't doing too many effects and transitions and things like we would normally do if we didn't uh, have to social distance. All right. Besides learning production roles, how did it feel when your performance or homework was shared on Joliet Community Television, community access channels, and on social media? I liked seeing the final product of Exploring Juliet completed because it kind of, it gives us a documentation of what we worked for. A lot of times when you're doing experience in different jobs or internships, you don't have like something that you can tangibly watch or tangibly see that you've been working towards. So I think it's a dual thing. It helped the community. We sh showed our message, but we also got experience and we got something that we can look back on and we can watch and we can have. I really enjoyed having uh, my work published on, you know, the local cable channels and also on social media because it's something, as I mentioned earlier, where you can go back and you can see your progress from the first episode to the last episode and you can like really, really evaluate yourself and see that progress. And also, I just feel it's really nice being able to just see and be able to look back on it because, you know, in 20 something years, 15 something years, you can go back and look at this and say that you were a part of this. So that's, that's really special to me. Yo, I see you on the TV. Like, I'm like, well, yo, it's okay, relax, relax, relax. And it, it, it kind of made me feel good just because I knew what we had to go through just to build it up. And it also allowed me to realize that if I keep like certain uh, uh, stories updated that my other, my other classmates will actually view it and keep me like, yo, I enjoy it. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. So like Cosme said before, looking back to it now from, from 20 years from now, we'd be like, oh, I did this. So this is pretty cool especially for somebody like me, I'm very perfectionistic. So there are times where I would be in charge of either directing something or, um, you know, doing camera work for something and then going back and noticing like, wow, I can't believe I forgot to do that. Um, or we could have just, you know, switched the coloring here and it would have been a little bit better. So as you continue to learn and look back at things, it's interesting to see um, where you, you kind of may have messed up before, but now you're more aware of it. You do your work, Jess did her work, uh, Ty did his work, Jacob did his work, and Cosme do, does their work. And when it's all put together, it's kind of cool. How did you serve the local community by taking this course? I was writing News Central to Juliet, and I think this is really a cool aspect of the show because things like ABC7 and NBC, you're not seeing news that, news that is local to your community. This was central to Joliet only. So it was about showing stories that were just about the community and informing them about things going on, things that were occurring, and it kept them in the loop a little bit more localized than a traditional news show. For me, I was reporting a lot on the local Joliet high schools in the area, such as Joliet West, Joliet Central, the Lockport schools, and sometimes even like the Plainfield, Plainfield schools and some schools in like Crest Hill in that area. So I think that offers a really unique perspective. And I also think that my writing style and uh, reporting style also is an interesting, it's an interesting style for also reporting like things like the MLB, NHL, NFL, stuff like that too. I actually got a chance to uh, interview a neighbor, a, a local neighbor about their Halloween event for the kids. And because of the times that we were going through as far as COVID goes and everybody not able to interact, um, we thought it was pretty cool to portray that story just because um, it was a more of a, a drive through for people to, you know, just wave and, you know, have a good time as far as going through those moments. So I think having the uh, locals know, like, what's going on in their community, knowing that even though we're going through hard times, that we're still a collective as one and we're going to do everything we can to, you know, be who we are. The way that I serve the community by taking this course um, is that in the beginning we were doing soft news and kind of pitching ideas and uh, I was able to get some footage of the local Joliet area from a big storm that had hit and damaged a lot of property. Um, and so, so through that experience, it kind of taught me like things are happening all around us. You don't have to go anywhere exotic. You can see cool little things and be part of the community just by looking around your environment. It's pretty cool to kind of get like a, to see what, what's going on with other people and how they're feeling about everything going on and how that their spirit is obviously um, still um, you know, there's still a happiness, I think, inside everybody. So, Well, let's take a look at one-minute videos that each of you recorded to kind of explain what your role was during Exploring Joliet. Hi, my name is Jacob Bayouk, and I'm responsible for a number of roles here, including directing, teleprompter, and camera work. 
So here is where we control all the switching when it comes to spotlights and interviews. Um, as you can see up here, we do have two screens uh, with everything going on right now. Social distancing is very important to us. And we're able to um, kind of keep within protocol by using our switcher board, which we have direct access to our cameras. So by keeping them in a separate spaces and, and socially distanced, we can kind of hide that through the use of two different screens on one take. And here is where we would go to control that and where we would go to create the virtual set that you see. So over here, we do have our light board. And what this does is it provides a uh, in the room, real time control of the lights for when we do uh, anything that we would need a control over the lighting situation. We can do that all within here. And it's monitored over here on this small screen where it shows us what the intensity, the color values. We have absolute control of that within the here so we can make on the fly corrections without interrupting production. As far as my role goes, I usually find stories and write about them. Um, as far as going behind the scenes, you are here looking at what the magic happens. So this is the switchboard that we use to record me on the screen. And normally I would be right here, but today I'm not because I'm showing you guys. But as far as the magic goes, the audio board is right here. The switcher, like I said before, audio board is on the right. And this is the compressor. And here we are in the studio where um, I'm usually standing right here for the entertainment. We have the Rialto and a couple of the students uh, working on uh, editing and whatnot. But uh, most of the time, we usually have the cameras that's pointed at me and I usually have to read off the teleprompter. The teleprompter allows me to read what I wrote for the script. And that's pretty much it. After that, I usually edit if I have to. How's it going everyone? Coach Melizano, sports anchor here at Exploring Joliet. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of what goes on down here at Exploring Joliet. So here we have the Mac Lab. This is where we have our meetings and where we write our stories. It's a great place where we're all collaborating, constantly trying to make our stories the best, you know, checking over each other's stories, making sure we're the best that we can be. So then if you follow me over here, we actually have the rest of the Tower Hall here at the University of St. Francis on the fourth floor. But then if you keep going down here, you'll be running into the TV studio. And the TV studio is where all the magic happens at the station. This is where we do all our content, all the filming, all the editing. It all takes place right here at Fifth Room in Tower Hall. In the fourth. So if you follow me, basically this is where we shoot Exploring Joliet. But if you want to go specifically to my corner, this is the sports corner. So right here at the top, we have uh, some of our St. Francis sports, football, volleyball. Right here we have where the Joliet Slammers play. We have the Joliet Speedway in the middle. It's beautiful. Then at the bottom, we have women's basketball, men's football, and then we have men's cross country. So this is basically where I do all my, all my reporting, I guess you could say. And this is where you see me, the people, presenting sports to you. I'm Jessica Scrapple. I'm a news anchor for Exploring Joliet. I write and read hard and soft news for the show, as well as do the intro and outro. When I do those stories, I come and sit over here. Um, I also do interviews throughout Julia for our spotlight interview sections. And when I write the stories, I usually go and use the Mac Lab and go on various sites to find business, government stories that are happening around Juliet. And I write those in ways that you guys can understand and that makes sense. So when I go to look for news for Exploring Juliet, I'll usually type in Patch Juliet because the news will be more local. I write hard or soft news, so that's either business, government-based, or like events happening around Juliet. So I'll usually just look at a story and make sure that there's enough information that I can rewrite about and that the public would want to hear. Each story is about a minute to two minutes long, and I just read it off the teleprompter from there. Oh, didn't see you there. Hi, my name is Dallas Matlock. Uh, I do the background stuff, basically. So, to pick a script, we would let our lovely anchors read off the teleprompter. Now we have the lovely camera. There's a lot of buttons everywhere, obviously. So, this right here is the zoom in and the zoom out. And this one right here is to focus. All right, so this is my area. This is where I go ahead and do graphics at. Instead of using all, you know, we, we don't have really the license for that. So he would have us use uh, free and share and use. That way we don't have to get caught, caught with copyrights. I would put it in a folder and my folder would be graphics. And then I would go here to Photoshop. 
So that's how I start and use graphics. And I'm gonna download it and put it into a PNG file. This wraps up this episode of Exploring Joliet, our final episode of 2020. Have a wonderful holiday season. As executive producer of Exploring Joliet, I have had the opportunity to work with a number of students over the last 17 years producing the Exploring Joliet show. I'd be remiss if I forgot to mention three students who were not enrolled in our course this term who helped out in terms of producing the show, they served as production assistants. Those individuals are Chris Kelly, Jacob Hubbs, and Jordan Missy. So that's it for this semester. And as the next semester begins, we're sure that you will enjoy watching more episodes of Exploring Joliet.